Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Part. It's time for another episode of MLB The Show 16 and Ajax Booker. As I mentioned in the last video, I was going to go ahead and do a Q&A video. So this is where I get a chance to answer the questions that you posted in the comment section of the last video. First off, I want to say thank you for the questions. I know that I don't post nearly as much as I used to, and I don't get as many views as I used to, and to be frank, I don't care about the latter part really that much at all. Uh, I didn't think I was going to get as many questions as I did, so thank you. Um, I'll go with the first one here. Per tradition, we'll go with who commented first, and then we'll kind of work our way from there. Uh, so MND Gaming asked, is your mother-in-law still with cancer? Uh, yes, unfortunately she is. Three weeks ago, she finished her last round of chemo, which is awesome. Uh, and then last week, she had surgery to get a port removed uh, that they put in there for the chemo and everything. So she still has uh, some radiation to do, but it looks like it won't be until August or September until she's going to be 100%. So I appreciate the prayers um, you know, that you, m and Gaming, and other people are kind of throwing out there. And then... You know, obviously, you guys, if you can donate to help her out, please do. In the description of every video, I put a link in there where you guys can. You just have to take out the stars, and that'll take you right to it. So, um, but unfortunately, yes. But hopefully, not much longer. Um, Jose Montez asked, "Who's your favorite baseball team?" Uh, Oakland A's, hands down. So I live in Nebraska. I grew up here, and so I don't have like a home team. If you kind of get what I'm trying to say there, like, you know, obviously, if I lived in uh, Kansas City, I'd be a Kansas City fan. I shouldn't say obviously, but likely that's the case. So when I was younger and I was like, I need to find my baseball team, this was the time of Moneyball. Uh, so after that, or during that, I became an Oakland A's fan, and that was really, really cool. Just seeing that all happen in like 2000, 2001, that was awesome. Legit Gamer says, nice video, man. I know it's not a question, but I just wanted to give you a quick shout out, man, because you seriously like post on every single video, and I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you just doing that. I know it doesn't take that long, but it means a lot, so thank you. Um, Citing Ostrich asks, what do you think about Xbox having no real baseball simulator since MLB 2K13? You know, I do have some mixed feelings about that. You know, MLB was, MLB 2K was really not that good. Um, you know, and it sucks for people who are big Xbox fans and also baseball fans because they don't get a chance to play it. I mean, most people who are like super into baseball though are you know, going to go out and purchase a PlayStation because there, I think there was this caveat in the agreement with MLB and 2K that said uh, that they have the exclusive rights unless the maker of the console goes ahead and produces a game, which is you know Sony owns San Diego Studio, and so they can make the show, but they can only have it on the PlayStation, which makes sense. I would like to see another game though to kind of give the show some competition because there's really nothing stopping uh, the show from being the exact same game every single year minus updated rosters because there's nobody they have to keep up or try and beat so hopefully there'll be some competition in the future and hopefully the show gets even better because of that in my opinion so um hawkeye gamer guy asks who's your sports idol growing up and how do you try to be like them for me it was lou gehrig uh, in his speech that he gave at his retirement where he talks about being the luckiest man on the face of the earth i think that was really awesome uh, it really showed a lot of humility because in that moment, a lot of people could say, oh, hey, pity me, you know, it sucks that my body is deteriorating in front of my eyes and I can't play the game that I love. Um, but he focused on how happy he was that he got a chance to play baseball and be a Yankee. And so for me, what I try and get out of that is to always be humble and focus on the good things in life because that is really what matters. So I know Lou Gehrig wasn't perfect, but that's what he personifies for me, what I want to try to emulate in my own life. Dalton Christensen asks, how old is your oldest child? Hiram is three and a half years old now. I'm actually over that. If you go back, you can actually find a video where I announced that I'm going to be a dad for the first time. That was really, really cool. Uh, I should actually go back and watch that. That'd be kind of cool to see. Uh, Logan Jackals asks, how old am I? I'm 31, which is a lot older than a lot of people apparently think. Uh, that I sound like, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And, you know, I do this just for fun every now and then. When I was a kid, uh, my brother and I, we used to uh, have, like, a fake radio show. And so doing, like, commentary and broadcasting type stuff was something I'd love to do when I was a kid. And I guess this is just my way of continuing it as an adult. Uh, Spencer Ballantine asks a lot of questions, but the first one, what do I do for a living? So I work in an IT department for a university, and when a lot of people think IT, they think my job is to fix stuff, and I actually do not do that much of it at all. 
A lot of my job consists of projects and planning, like, hey, there's this new piece of software coming out. Jeff, tell me what you think about it. Is this something we could use? If we do decide to use it, how will we go about using it? How will we go about letting people how, uh, know how to use it and stuff like that? So I do a lot of projects and planning, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun, actually, working with tech that's always changing. Uh, I love my job. You know, not too many people can say they love going to work every morning, but I'm one of those people. So, uh, and then Spencer also asked, will I ever do a face cam? Nope. Sorry. Just not going to do it. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, never done a face cam. Doubt I ever will. Jesse Chitwood asked, what's the biggest tornado you've ever experienced? Well, there's actually never been a tornado in Lincoln. It's like an ongoing streak we always talk about here. Uh, but when I was younger, like 12, I was at a, uh, I was at my church for scouts, and we went out the back, and the tornado sirens were going off, and we saw this tornado that was outside the city limits. We're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then the tornado sirens kept going off. We went inside. We played basketball for a little bit. They're still going on. We look out front, and we look up in this like glass foyer, and we see clouds spinning, uh, which was pretty cool. And then there was this huge gust of wind, threw the doors open, freaked us out. We ended up running towards the hallways and hiding out there. Uh, but I love tornadoes. I love big storms. My wife hates it because whenever the tornado sirens go off, I still go outside. And sometimes I've even gotten on a ladder to get on the roof to see a tornado. But that's the largest one I've ever experienced. Um, let's see. Um, CNC Place asks, do you plan to have another kid? If so, what are some ideas for names? So, yes, we plan on having another kid, maybe even two more after this. So we'd have a total of four at the most, I think is what we're going with. Uh, if it's a boy, we like the name either Brighton or Benson. Uh, and then if it's a girl, we'd go with the name Kennedy, which I like that. So that's uh, names for kids, potentially. We'll see. Um, and then CNC Place also asked, what are the top three games of all times? Sports related or not? That is a very tough question to answer because um, it changes all the time. Like if you ask somebody, what's your favorite movie? That changes all the time too. Right now, and for a while, my favorite game has been Arma 3. I'd say the last three years, it has been Arma 3. I love the idea of a military sandbox where people make all these missions it's never the same experience. So I love that. Uh, and that's why I've done a lot of videos of Arma because I just love playing that game so much. When I was younger, the X-Wing series, so like X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, all that stuff, like just love that. Oh my gosh. And there was another flight simulator that I had called USAF that I love too. Uh, Total War series has been up there. Oh, I'm going. Sliding into home. Yes. Safe, but not by much. Now, as far as sports games go, uh, NCAA football was by far my favorite series. Not necessarily for the gameplay, but for the experiences that I've had with people. I guess FIFA goes up there, too, because I've had some great tournaments with some friends where they come over and just play that. Uh, yes, the show is up there, but when you've played these games as much as I have, they're just not that fun anymore. You know, you've done all the same stuff, and so it just gets pretty repetitive. So... That's why I'm not saying the show's on there. Not that I don't like the game. It's just not one of my favorites because I played it way too much. Oh, I didn't know that that would end up being what would give us the winning run. Ajax Booker, player of the game here. Had two hits, a triple and a double, and two stolen bases. So all around a great game. You know, I feel like this commentated itself a little bit. So I know I didn't get to all the questions, but I love doing these types of videos where I do Q&As because it gives you guys a chance to get to know me better and I get a chance to know you guys better. Like um, Tetsuya Yamamoto said that I'm their favorite YouTuber since he came to the US five years ago. I mean, that type of stuff is cool. Like that's what I love doing this for is that type of stuff. Um, so since I know I didn't get to everybody's question, like I said, I'll be doing this again. And so feel free to comment again in the future and I'll definitely do it. I'll give you guys some warning of course too. But anyway, thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. More of Ajax Booker to come later on so make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff but you guys really appreciate you so much. Thanks for all you do. As always you guys, I hope you have a good one.